Good evening. Hello. This is Tracy. This is Sweet Spot E Magazine. And um, I didn't feel like going back into the kitchen just yet because I'd like to kind of sit down for a little bit. But um, anyway, I'm just going to jump right in. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much to the subscribers, to the views, to the comments. Thank you for the comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the everything. Thank you for everything. And I want everyone to know that, hey, I'm hearing that song, We Are Family Family by Sister Sledge. We are a soul family. I'm just going to jump right in. I just wanted to jump on here and just do a quick read or however long it takes, okay? So... <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. Somebody feeling left out in the cold? Maybe somebody's finances have taken a dip. Maybe it's somebody's energy, but there's some clarity about what's going on with the sun card. And the sun card is the first card out and it's a major arcana. So there's a lot of clarity that's going on. It it, it 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 was like somebody's thinking, how did I miss this? How did I not see this before? I mean, because it's been right in my face all along. How did I miss this? I mean, it was like somebody kept moving a basket that had this... Uh, the uh, towel over it. They kept moving it, moving it, moving it to the side, to the side, to the side. And they never knew what was in it. And one day they took the towel off of it and they found that the basket was full of money. How do you miss that? What else, spirit? Show me what else. Three of wands. Now, with this newfound clarity, someone finally feels like their ships are coming in. And it's something that's promising. And it's something that they've been working on. It's like all of a sudden, somebody can see clearly now. The rain is gone. We have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords because they listen to their heart. They listen to spirit. They listen to themselves. They listen to the gentle and loving guide. They felt that gentle and loving nudge. And they went towards what they truly love. They made a decision and they went towards what they truly love. Because something was, something is clear. Somebody can see exactly who this person is. Somebody can see exactly who this person is. And that's why they turned their back. That's why they made a decision. That's why they left. That's why they decided to go ahead and follow the nudge. It's like they were receiving messages from spirit. They were receiving lots of messages, whether it was in their sleep, whether whatever it was, they were receiving a lot of messages saying, hey, you're not truly happy where you're at. And you have to be honest with yourself. Something is lacking. This is not the relationship for you. This is not a real relationship. It was like all of a sudden they put their finger on it. 
they saw that they weren't really happy. They saw that the person that was there didn't really want to be there. It came as a shock. It came as a surprise, but it was needed to clear the air. It was needed to bring balance. It was needed to bring justice. It was needed. And this person now, this person now is sitting here. Not only are they thinking about someone else, someone that was truthful, but they're also thinking about things that this other person said. They're really thinking about everything that this other person said. They're thinking about everything that this other person did too. And that would be, they're thinking about all of that. They're thinking about how that person made a head over heart decision, how that person, you know, really cared for them, how that person did this. But they're also thinking about how that person walked away. Walked away from the confusion walked away from the immaturity, walked away from somebody holding back and somebody, you know, holding in and not discussing and not talking and not opening up. They walked away from all of that. And when they walked away from all of that, the person that, was still right there. They thought that they was going to be okay. They thought it was going to be all right. They thought that if they left this past situation, Fooey on you. Go on. Bye. See ya. Beat it. Get. Confirmation. That's what they thought. That's what they thought. But now they're thinking about everything again. And they're seeing it with new eyes. They're not seeing it the same. They're seeing it totally different. They're seeing it in a more mature manner. Now they're seeing it in a more humble manner. Because they're realizing what they did, what they put into it. How maybe they just really didn't really want to get along. How they actually thought, it's fine. You want to leave? Leave. See ya. Beat it. But they don't feel like that now. Now they want to come back. Now they want to apologize. Now they want to... talk about it because what they thought they was going to get what they thought that they had turned out just to be a bunch of games turned out to be heartbreak turned out to be about nothing they thought that they was going to get some type of spiritual backing. They thought they was going to receive some type of gift. They thought that they was going to be okay with them trying to, that God was going to still bless them. They thought they was going to get some type of spiritual backing. 
think that the God was going to bless them because they was acting like this. Not only was they acting raw dog skull duggery, disloyal, cheating, <clears throat> but they also caused this with someone who wanted to be there. Someone who was trying to be right. Someone who was trying to do this. But that's not what they want. That's what they gave them. And that's what they also received in return. Which caused them to have to do this. Go within. And once they went within... Once they saw that true north, it was all clear then. Then it was clear <clears throat> as a motherfucking bell. Clear as a bell. Clear as a bell. So let's see what they decided that they needed to do. Chariot. <clears throat> Somebody's getting in their car. Somebody's making a trip. Somebody is going somewhere to offer somebody a cup of love. Somebody's got something they want to talk about. It is clear as a bell. What they was thinking about, what they was tripping off of, they don't even know anymore. It was like they woke up from a long, 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 long sleep. It's like they woke up from a long sleep. And when they finally woke up, they said, where the fuck? Am I? And what the fuck have I done? It was like this person realized that they allowed their own shadow side, their own south node, their own devilish side their own skullduggerish side, their own buttfuckerish side to come out. They had to realize this about themselves as we all do because we all have to go through the dark night of the soul. All of us. All of us have to go through that if we want to survive. If we want to come out alive. Like I said, this person, after they finally woke the hell up, they had to go through their own dark night of the soul. And they didn't like what they saw. They wasn't proud of what they saw. They didn't think it was pretty at all. In fact, they thought it was pretty shitty. They saw that they were given this, all of this type of energy, five of wands. They saw that they were causing chaos, that they were causing confusion that they were creating a cacophony all because they had something that they hadn't worked out but they wanted you to be the punching bag they wanted you to take responsibility and then they want to call themselves I'm a man. Oh, I'm a woman. 
I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass woman. Putting all your trash, all your garbage on somebody else. Putting all your garbage on somebody else because you ain't strong enough to deal with it. You and your grown ass. Man. Woman. You and your grown ass woman or man self. What else, Spirit? What else? I want to know everything. Satisfy my spiritual curiosity, please. Ten of Wands. Isn't that, isn't that ironic? Isn't that karma? Isn't that karma? Isn't that ironic? Because... Look at what you dished out. But look at what you got back. You got doubly back what you tried to dish out. That's karma. All day long. She was sitting in the ride waiting for you car was on idle. You didn't see all them damn sunflower seeds on the outside of the damn window. She been waiting there for a minute, popping sunflower seeds. She thought that you for a minute thought that she had left. She wasn't going nowhere. She went and got something to drink, but she came right back out. She may have went to the bathroom, but she came right back. She wasn't going nowhere. She was waiting for you. Because she has something with your name on it. It's like someone saw because of their immature actions. That this Queen of Cups walked away. And that's, that's that karma. Because somebody wanted to have that in and out energy. They wanted to play those games. They wanted to be like that. They wanted to leave somebody guessing. They wanted to hold back. Here's somebody guessing. They wanted to hold back. They got a thrill out of that. It made them feel big. It made them feel powerful. It made them feel strong. Stronger than a motherfucker all day long. To think that they could possibly alter somebody's mood to take them from a high to a low to a high to a low fuck all that what else spirit Somebody thought that they could control somebody else's happiness, but they found that they couldn't. They saw that when that person walked away, their happiness walked away too. They found out when that person walked away, it's like they took everything with them. It was like they took 
all the riches, all the glory, all the value, all the honor, all the everything, strength, everything that that person needed, they took it away when they left. And that person didn't know that. They didn't know that that other person was the key and they was there to try and find the answer not the other way around but they know now now they know they are for sure for sure for sure trust me when I say they now they know. When I say they know, they I. Trust me, they know. They know about what 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 games are. They they know. They trying to manifest you. They trying to think about you. They trying to say, okay, you know what? Let me let me let me let me see if I can if I can manifest this person. If I can manifest this love back. In. I'm trying to I'm trying to bring it to me. I'm trying to come on come on. They know now. What else? Yes, yeah, so my spirit been talking to them. I heard this spirit say, their spirit tell them, you got to get yourself together. You got to get your shit together because you is lacking. It's like somebody wants to go out and do a whole bunch of partying and everything to try and forget about whatever they need to remember. But what they really remember and what they're really trying to forget is how this person was their wish fulfillment, how this person was their everything. And they even tried to get with other people. They even tried to replace this person. They tried to, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that, but it was not same it was way far from different they saw who they love they saw who they need to be with they saw that And they also saw it's time for them to stop acting a motherfucking fool. Stop creating bullshit. Stop putting shit there when there don't need to be no shit there. You adding, you creating, you creating problems when there are none. Just because you feel in a certain way. Just because you feel like, you know, oh, let me see if I can do this. Oh, let me see if I can do that with the, with the queen of wands and her little witchy bitchy ass. You know, just because you feel in a certain way, you feel like you got to lash out. Instead of working on yourself, instead of figuring out which path you need to go. What else, Spirit? So I can get a different deck and get some different energy. Because this is all about that person. This is about that person that wants to do the, oh my gosh, what have I done? It's all so clear now. Yeah, it's been clear. It the shit been clear. You just finally woke the fuck up whenever you finally found out that you was left the 
fuck out. You allowed yourself to get knocked the fuck out by your damn self. Now that's some heavy lifting right there. Like I said, ask them now. Did you learn the lesson? Oh, I sure did. Yes, sir. I learned that lesson. You got that thing right. Did you learn the lesson with the chariot? I sure the hell did. I learned about that shit. They ready to move forward. They ready to come through. They're ready to have a talk. They're ready to say, listen, I'm just trying to get some of this karma off my back. She like, don't talk about, she in the kitchen, don't talk about me, boy. <laughs> I know my neighbors be like, who the fuck is she talking to? Damn. They trying to get some of that karma off their back. Up to, they did this to themselves and they see that they trying to get some of that karma off their back because they see what they was doing this is what they was doing okay they they right here they went from the five to the ten here too and they stuck at the five right here okay they trying to get to the ten that's where you come in they see it now, yeah. And, and, and because now they getting all this attention, they wanted a whole bunch of attention, they getting it now. Yes, sir. They getting it now. But not the way they want or want it. Can't make this shit up. Not the way that they want it. But they getting it now. They getting all the attention. Every last drop. You be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a little bit left of the attention. There you go. It's all you, boo. It is all you. What else? Now they want to have a brand new start. Now they want to make a brand new declaration. I do so solemnly swear from this day forth that I proclaim this day to be truth telling motherfucking day. I know my neighbor's like, Damn, we can't wait for her ass to go to sleep. Because, see, God said, you know what? I'm telling you, that, I'm, I'm telling you somebody making a proclamation. Truth motherfucking day, okay? They ain't stepping out them damn lines. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. They walking down the street. They so worried about stepping out of them lines. They walking down the street. And they like, God. Can I, can I put my right foot here? God said, go ahead. Can I put my left right foot foot here? Go ahead. Can I put my right? Go ahead. Can I put, I mean, they ask him, him to lead and guide and direct their every step. Every step. They're like, God, do you want me to sit down and rest or you want me to keep going? God said, no, you keep going a little bit. Okay. They keep on going. God said, sit down. Oh, God said, speak up. Ah, nah, nah. God said, shut up. Um, that he leading and guiding every step. You talk, I told you. I talk, you talk about a lesson learned. You talk about a lesson learned. That shit, they got a tattoo with that lesson on them. Talk about, I learned that shit. I learned that shit. 
Yeah, and they moving forward from it too. They learned that shit and they are moving away from that nightmare. They in the car. They speeding down the highway. They are speeding down the highway. They don't even care if they're going the right way. They're just trying to get away from this nightmare. They don't want to be nowhere near that. Trust and believe that shit. What they didn't appreciate before, they appreciate that shit now. Boy, damn. Damn. I wonder what the fuck they went through. Shit. You know what is what they went through? I'm going to tell y'all. It's life changing. What they went through had their heart beaten so fast. It's taken, it took them a minute to calm down. It took them a minute to breathe. It took them a minute to actually settle their heartbeat. Because it was something that it could have taken their entire life. It could have changed their entire existence in the blink of an eye if they did not think fast. They would have been screwed. God saved them in the nick of time. And got them out of there fast. In the nick of time. In the nick of time. Somebody, I, I can feel the heartbeat. They were, they were like so scared. They were, oh my God. And even if they think about or rethink about that moment. That moment is going to have their heart beating fast every time they think about it. And the reason that they were able to learn the lesson, the reason that they have a brand new point of view, the reason that they now believe and belong to the almighty God is because they know without a shadow of one doubt that it was God that saved them. It was God that removed them. It was God that told them to Get out now. It was God. And now they believe. Now they believe. What else, Spirit? What else? Show me what else. Like I said, they didn't believe before. They took it for granted before. Whether that was spirit, whether that was you, whatever it was, they took it for granted. They thought you were all about just games. They thought that you were trying to be some type of, do some type of tricks. Like you couldn't be trusted. Like you were the one who looked out for. But you were the one who was solid. You were the one that was stable. 
You was the one that was secure. And you were the one that already had that clear thought. You already saw the truth. But you know, people that finally wake up, when they finally wake up, they wake up knowing that they don't know anything. It's all a brand new learning experience after waking up and realizing you don't know shit. You don't know a damn thing. You ain't even got a fucking clue. All that shit that you thought that you knew, you didn't know. You guessed. You guesstimated. You assumed. You thought. But you didn't know. But now you know. That all that shit that you thought that you knew. Now you know. The truth. Now you know you didn't know. You know? Somebody has a brand new respect for the Lord. Somebody's changing their entire life. Somebody's changing their entire persona, their entire way of thinking, their entire way of dressing. They got a brand new respect for the Lord. They see now how they kept themselves bound. They see now how they have to set themselves free. They see now how they have to be a part of their own rescue, of their own salvation, of their own freedom ride. They have to do it. They have to make the decision. They have to make that step. Somebody sees that now. They didn't want to see it. They didn't want to move. They were so stubborn. They're like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing it. I'm not moving it. You can't make me. And they were stubborn for a long time. Yeah. With the strength card right there and the Knight of Pentacles. They've been stubborn for a long time. They thought that they just knew it all. They just said, they, this, they, that, they, they just thought that they was just all of this and all of that. Like they could go in the bathroom and spend three hours of just straight shit and then come out and the shit don't stink. No, your shit stink too. They, like, they thought like that for a long time. But they don't think like that now. Not after that. I'm telling you, they had a life changing experience. Something that changed them forever. Life changing. Something happened that could have taken them out. Something happened that could have put them in prison. Something happened that they could have taken somebody else out. They could have died. And they had to decide right then and there, it was time to leave that. Conflict.
they decided right then and there. They said, nope, I'm, I'm out. I don't care. I'll stay in a hotel for, I'll stay in a hotel. I'll sleep on some couches. I'll do whatever I got to do, but I'm not doing that shit. No, because next time I may not be so lucky. And I got responsibilities. I got things I'm trying to do. I'm telling you, somebody said, I'm out. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. You can keep all this shit. You can keep everything, motherfucker. You keep it all. I'll come back with the police and get my shit. Because fuck that. Fuck that. Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, some, it's, it was something... Something, 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 something happened. Something happened, it wasn't good. It wasn't. Something happened, it was not good. And it almost took them out of themselves. It almost ended their lives. It almost did something. And after this person was able to breathe, after this person was able to think about this shit, that's when they knew. There is a God. That's when they knew and that's when they decided to be honest with themselves. And they said there is a God. Because they knew that it was because tapping in because of prayers, tapping into their, their emotional space, their spiritual space, and everything with the, with the swords, the cups, and the high priestess. They knew who was there, who was saving them, who was lifting them up. Moving them out. They knew who it was. It was the same one that they refused to open up to. It was the same one that they refused to acknowledge. It was the same one that they refused to see. God. It was that same God that they refused to see. So they went in. They had to. They had no choice. It's like they, they had no choice but to go within and, and heal. To get some balance. To get some perspective. To get some cleansing. To get some clearing. to get close to their angels. Because at this point, this is exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted to be so close because they knew that there was a God. Once they figured out that there was a God because that God clearly saved them on that occasion, at that point, that's all they want. They want to feel that connection. It's like it's a drive. It's a, it's a, it's a goal. It's something they feel like they have to reach. It's that connection that they feel. It's that drive. It's that goal. It's something that they can't, they cannot not know it now. Like I said, they cannot not know it now. Bottom of the deck. The 
discernment. This person may be spending all of their waking moments in prayer. Trying to find a light. Afraid that their flame would flicker if they did not stay in prayer. I'm not talking about staying in the Bible. I'm talking about staying in, being able to walk around, do whatever you have to do. You, you have to go to work, you're going to work. You got some kids, you're taking care of the kids. You got to do some shit at home, you're doing your shit at home. You're, you're, you're doing your shit, but you're remaining in prayer. You're, you're remaining to ask God to allow you to stay connected. I feel like that's what this person is doing because keep in mind, they had a life changing experience. But this is what they needed to go through. This was their karma. This was Like a big push of karma at one point. And now. It's like they've, they've, they've been able to clear out that karma. Now they are set free from that. But whatever. They learned. They definitely learned a valuable, valuable lesson. Valuable lesson. They learned about relationships. They learned about what's truly important. They learned where to put the dollar in the big scheme of things because judgment came to call. Because they had a near death experience and they received another chance this was a major major eye opener I'm telling you it was a major eye opener Something, something that they saw, something that they experienced, something that they have to heal through, something that they're thinking about, something that they won't really be able to get off of their mind for a long, long time. And they won't be able to figure out why it even happened. They won't be able to clue Put together the clues of what's it all about. What else, Spirit? I'm telling you, it's something that's this is going to be in this person's mind for a while. They're going to have to talk about this. They're going to have to talk about this and get it out and say exactly what it was, what happened, what they had to do to defend themselves. They're going to have to say all of it. They're going to have to learn to communicate in order for them to be able to heal from this, in order for them to be able to get better from this, in order for them to be able to grow from this, in order for them to be able to go away from this going to have to require communication. This is going to have to require someone being honest, someone being 
up front. So I'm just putting it out there. Something that somebody can would akin to like the Amityville horror story. It's just something horrible. Something that they really do want to forget, but something that they understand. It was almost like they saw this growing after. They saw this, this whatever it was, they saw the, the signs growing after time. They saw and they saw it growing. They saw this this whole situation getting bigger and bigger, progressing for but for some reason they didn't want to leave. For some reason they didn't want to go. For some reason they thought they could stay. Until something happened. Somebody said something. There was a, an argument that ensued. There was some Words that were discussed. There was possibly some fist of cuffs. There was something that happened. But whatever it is, it turned this person's life around. It made this person want to go in there, follow only their North Node. It set this person straight. If this person was trying to follow some old road where they wasn't sure if, if, if something was a little fish, they not following that motherfucker now. They not doing it. They, they started thinking back. No, let me go on back to how I used to be before I started thinking I could be half, half nickel slick. Let me get myself together. Let me get some balance in my life. Let me take my ass back on to where, what I know. And quit trying to act like I'm all big and shit. Let me turn my back on some shit. Because I ain't about that life. I'm not about that life. And see, that's somebody who can recognize they ain't about that motherfucking life. That's a genius right there. That's somebody got a brain. That's somebody who know, know how to do something called think. Think. That's somebody who knows what the definition of repercussions is. That's somebody to know what cause and effect is. That's somebody to know when to fucking stop. And that's the fucking truth. Somebody knew when to What else, spirit? Somebody sees some shit clear now. Boy, boy, boy. You can't. You can't make this up. They see the sun. They said they was like, I don't know how I missed the sun before. Maybe I wasn't looking in the right direction. But I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do. I just see that motherfucker now. They said, Spirit, can I put, can I do six steps and then a twirl and then a dip and then two steps, then a jump and then a step? Spirit was like, okay. Thank you. Because see, they planning their, they planning their steps. They asking God to show them and guide them and lead them and direct them and don't leave them and carry them and coddle them and baby them and everything. Now. Now.
because now they truly want to be happy. Now they're really ready to be happy. And the only way to really be happy, because this is them wanting to have that kid like that genuine happiness that, that, you know, as a little kid, you know, you're at your happiness and not, not at the, as, because this person is old now, but they want to feel like that. They want to feel like that happiness. They want to feel that, that newness, that, that freshness. They want to feel that what you get from seeking God. Now they want to see that. Now they want to feel that. Now they're ready to take that leap. Because they did the work. And they saw some shit that they didn't want to see. They saw some shit they didn't like. What else? Anything else, Spirit? Then I'll pull anything else. Any? Yeah. They see how they used to be. But now it's like they want you to see that they're healed or they want to be healed or they're healing. Sorry, I'm trying to, I don't know what, maybe I just color it in, color it in some, with some marker because I hate to have to cover it up the dang card. wonder if, do a pink swimsuit on her or something. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But yeah, somebody wants to feel that childlike innocence again. They want to be able to, they want to be able to deal with whatever they got to deal with. They want to be strong enough to put the past behind them, to let whatever comes out, come out. They want to let that shit go. That somebody is ready. Somebody is ready. Somebody definitely, definitely believes in God now. I mean, they went through a heartache. They went through something traumatic. But I mean, it was like they had to go through this traumatic thing because it was like, Spirit was like, I'm tired of dealing with this mother. This just, they act like they can't learn. We get ready to double team them. It's like, tap me in. Tap me in. Yeah. Spirit said, you about to work on some shit. Put an end to some shit. Some shit that needed to get rid. You needed to get rid of that. Get rid of it. You don't need that. Ah, get rid of that too. So that you can go ahead and heal. Feel better. Feel lighter. Feel prettier. And feel brighter. Y'all. I want to thank y'all so very much. For the subscribes. I really do. I really do. I love y'all. Y'all are my soul family. Seriously. Seriously. And I'll see y'all again soon.